Boy, 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 these MJ fans are something else. They're at it again. Welcome to another episode of Goat James Kingdom. This is Who's Really Biased. I'm the ex- So Nick Wright came out with his NBA Top 50 Players for the last 50 years. And MJ fans are all upset. Now, mind you, this man named 47 players before he got to Michael Jordan at number three. They had no problem with the list until Michael Jordan was listed at number three. And now all hell broke Literally, MJ fans think that they can just bully people left and right. I mean, it doesn't make sense. So according to MJ fans, no one could be better than Michael Jordan, especially two players better than Michael Jordan. That's impossible. That is just erroneous. It's blasphemous, right? Even though this individual will probably have a criteria and actually break it down like Nick Wright did. But then you'll have people like Chris Broussard coming with nonsense like this. Michael Jordan is not the second best player ever. And he's certainly not the third best player. Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Period. The end. Is that so, Broussard? Please, indulge me. Tell me how. Only Michael Jordan has the incredible combination of individual statistical dominance and winning a ton of... Michael Jordan did more in fewer seasons. All right, so first let's attack this winning and statistical. Okay, so he brings up this graph, right? Well, where are the stats? Where's the statistical dominance? You claim that Jordan has statistical dominance and he was winning. Okay, we see he has six titles. So does Kareem. Kareem went to the finals four more times than he did. Then you put up this graph with like three peats, final MVPs. Then you put scoring champ and then you separate all the other statistical awards and put them together so Jordan could have two separate categories there, right? Instead of putting them all together. Then he puts all defensive first team and not all NBA first team, not all NBA, and not all defensive teams in general. Then he uses the advanced stats. Where is the statistical dominance that Jordan has? From my understanding, Jordan only dominates in scoring, and he's not even the greatest scorer of all time. That would be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Jordan is fifth on the scoring list. Okay, so where is all of this dominance? In fact, Kareem has more rebounds, more assists than Jordan as well, plus more blocks. Where is this statistical dominance? So now if we actually go into their careers, we can see here all of their accolades, right? And Michael Jordan does not match up with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar there. Again, Michael Jordan fans think that they can just bully people into believing anything that they say and then show us some disingenuous graphs to make us believe that Michael Jordan is better than other people. It is really getting annoying. I'm not done. Look out for part two.